Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's 11-11. Some people think that that's a magical time. So I'm very sorry that I'm late. Oh, my eyeballs. Allergies. Weather. I'm very sorry that I'm late this morning. I knew it was going to be an ish. Uh, when I got in here and discovered that my tablet um, was dead and at the moment it's only on 35% uh, and that's how I monitor what I'm doing with you all. So um, I hope that that's not going to be a really big issue. Sorry, I'm working on lining things up here. Uh, I hope that's not going to be a really big issue. I can keep it plugged in, but I also usually keep my phone plugged in and um I don't know what I was thinking yesterday. I wasn't thinking yesterday. That's exactly what I was doing. Not thinking. So, uh, late Casey White here in Dayton, Ohio, independent uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And if you're watching me live this morning, you're watching me on Facebook. And if you're watching the replay, you will be watching it either on YouTube or Facebook because I usually have my videos up by between 3 and 5 p.m. on the same day that I record them. And I have been uh, transferring over my past videos to YouTube. So if you're interested in checking out my YouTube channel, uh, you can go over there. Uh, the link is always on my Stampin' with the Queen page. Um, and that's Stampin' Stamp, the letter N, with the Queen, Casey White, on uh, Facebook. So I hope you find me and I hope you check me out. Um, today is, I always have to check my Fitbit. I think it's the 23rd-ish, 24th. April 24th, which means you have six days left. Six days uh, for the final countdown to get your last uh, minute things. I went on to the um, website yesterday and scrolled through there on the retired list to see what was still available. Still plenty of stuff available. Some really good deals, too, especially um, on die cuts and ribbon and embellishments. Um, die cuts especially some of them are way way down um in price so uh those run anywhere between 25 and 35 dollars and you can get them for half price so i suggest if there's anything that you think you forgot you check it out and i'll give you my host code i have my host code here and when i put you in the cradle um we'll show you the host code for the month of april that uh, six days remaining and then may 2nd whoop whoop we're getting the new catalog so can't wait can't wait um have my catalog Ta -da! have my catalog and I will have them for you, my customers. I'll have them labeled and ready to go with a wish list at the class on May 2nd. So uh, our next class is May 2nd and that is also um, the day that the catalog goes live. I did check the inventory list this morning before I came on and it's basically about the same. Um, something, Wink Estella is still out, still not available. Good morning. Winkastel is still not available. Um, not sure uh, it when it'll be back. Uh, certainly hope it comes back soon. Um, other things are coming like May 1st. And uh, some things are coming uh, about May 8th, I think. So just keep checking back. I'll keep getting you uh, little updates, little updates. Good morning, Miss Amy. Uh, little updates, a little at a time. So uh, I'm going to work today. We're going to work on our paper pumpkin, which is called All the Little Things. And um, it is the April paper pumpkin. And it's really got some spectacular die cuts in it. Um, the laser cut with the shine oh my gosh it's so pretty so let me put you in the cradle and turn you around and let's get started and play with our paper pumpkin shall we all right just a minute I always pick it up with the wrong hand Ugh. let's see I don't want to turn us off I just want to turn us around All right, that looks good, I think. Check my monitor here. 
and make sure that we are good. One moment, please. Come on. There we go. Refresh. All right. There she is. There's that other Casey. All right. And there is my um, host code for the month of April. So in your six days left that you have to place an order, there's the host code. Let me put it up here a little higher so you can see it. Uh, you can screenshot it, and that way you can remember to use it when you go to the Stampin' Store, caseywhite.stampinup.net. Sorry, got it over a little bit too far. Uh, I moved my camera, and now I have to go over to the left a little bit more than what I'm used to. So, uh, But I wanted to try to get everything in frame. Anyway, that's the April host code. So six days, six days we have left. And let me get a sip of my Diet Coke here. All right, this month's stamp... Um, Paper pumpkin. I'm going to change my lighting here. I think I like that better. I don't know. This month's paper pumpkin comes with a free organizer inside of it. So this is your organizer. And these cannot be purchased separately. If you want another organizer, you can buy the refill for the paper pumpkin. And you can get another uh, organizer. But if you're careful and you really, really are in love with this, each box comes with a piece of pretty stable cardboard. And you can always lay these out and trace them so that you can, and then cut them out. And that way you can make as many organizers for your paper pumpkin boxes as you want. So it comes in this handy dandy little envelope here and it's got, couple of pieces parts so you've got um, let me see here I think it's three longs and three shorts or four shorts let me see now yeah, we got lots more shorts so one two three four five we've got five shorts and three longs and they're adjustable so all you do to put them together is just line up your holes here and be consistent so this one is the second one and I'm putting it in the first hole putting that in the first slot I take this one and I put it in that first slot <laughs> it's like it's like little dominoes you take one apart and then you have to get them all back together so it's like you need three hands when you're doing this in order to keep it together. And it still fell apart on the bottom. Okay, hang on. You gotta have all of your digits, your hand, and your neighbor's hand. Amy, if you were here, I would have your hands. All right, let's see. Come on, wake up here. Sorry guys, one second here. I realized, whoops, that when I put up my monitor, I forgot to put up, there you go, I forgot to put up the, um, the comments. So once you get the first one together, it's easier to get the second notch in, as you can see. And you just have to sort of remember which notches that you're doing so that you are consistent to get the same ones each time. There we go. It's really not that hard. And then when we go out here to this edge, we're gonna go to the second notch instead of the first one because we're gonna space it. And then we get the final notch. So this is really not that hard to put together. So now your box organizer is together and you will hold all of, if you want it to, it'll hold all of your lovely little ink spots. And if you don't want it to do that, you can change it and do everything. Oh, I lifted that whole section off. But 
you can do that. You can lift a whole section off and you can put different things in there. So you, you could put, you know, different items of different sizes in there and decide what you want to do and put it in your box. So you decide how you want your organizer to go together and you decide what you want to do with your organizer. Um, whether you want it to keep your paper pumpkins or you want it to keep something else. I can't believe I just lifted that whole thing off by accident. Let's see if I can get it back on there. You can, it just takes a minute or two or three and an extra pair of hands. I can't believe I did that. This is like one of those egg carton things that folds up. See? And now that you've got it together, you can fold it flat and set it aside if you want. So I'm just going to set mine over here to the side and maybe we'll put it in the box later. This is next month's Paper Pumpkin, which will be available um, up until May 10th. And on May 2nd, they will show the color version of this box. Right now, this is just black and white. And there's a contest where you can download um, the, the, um, this graphic and you can color it. And they're going to have, you know, they're going to vote. And I think you can win, I think it says you can win... Um, a free paper pumpkin doesn't say on here but anyway this is the new paper pumpkin it's going to be what we call a kind of manly it's got um, mountains and um, trees and landscapes so and it's got stickers coming we haven't seen the stickers yet because they don't want to show us very much because they're all in color and right now they're just teasing us with this black and white so paper pumpkins um the price is going up in may and i think it's 24.50 or 25 dollars a month still a great great deal paper pumpkins a great big bang for your buck because you get so much you get anywhere from six to 12 to sometimes more projects in a paper pumpkin box. I know the one that came back in um, like uh, the fall had little tiny boxes, little gift boxes that you could put together. And I think there were 16 of those. And the ones for um, um, October for the Halloween, those I think had a, like a dozen of the little boxes, treat boxes. thirsty this morning. I always make, I make a lot of treats and um, little things like that for my Bible study group. So I love it when I get treat boxes because there are nine of us in there. So I always need uh, eight. But anyway, this is this month's paper pumpkin. And so you have got uh, three, six, nine of these envelopes. They're all the same these blue envelopes. So if you are a fan of Paper Pumpkin Alternatives, these are great because they have two patterns. They have a pattern here that has a little bit of uh, polka dots and then they have like a color wash pattern on it. So these would be easy to cut apart and make for a background. So these are your envelopes for your Paper Pumpkin this month. Uh, this is your, let me get this here. This is your Paper Pumpkin set. So you've got that same polka dot honeycomb kind of backgroundish stamp. You guys can't see that very well. Can't see that. I need to bring this down or bring it closer. Anyway, uh, celebrate today. Um, I'm grateful for all the little things you do. Here is a, what is this one? Enjoy your day um, with deepest sympathy. And then you've got... Uh, the flowers and the branches. Uh, this is supposed to mimic um, cherry blossoms was the original intent. So that is supposed to be a cherry blossom. So that was the um, reasoning behind this. Honestly, I think they look, the big flower in the set looks more like a magnolia to me than a cherry blossom. But these are the stamps. And we're going to be needing 
I know we're going to be needing several of them. So I'm going to stick that one on there already. And I know we're going to need this one, the little things. And I think the other one is enjoy your day or celebrate today. Which one is it? Put my eyeballs on. Enjoy. Okay, it's the enjoy your day. All right. All right. And the ink spot that you're getting this month in your paper pumpkin is shaded spruce. A lovely, lovely bright green. Then you'll get uh, a couple of sticker sheet. Well, they're not sticker sheets. They're die cut sheets. Okay. So you'll get a couple of die cut sheets. And we'll be popping these out. And then you also get some twine. So you've got like a gray or a black and calypso coral twine. Uh, I think it's smoky slate. And look at this. They listened. You know, I hate when they get sets without bling. And these are our beautiful iridescent um, stones here, faceted gemstones. So I'm so excited that there's bling in this stamp set because I love it when they bring bling. I can't stand it when they don't bring the bling. I want the bling. Mama loves her bling. I do, I do, I do. So I'm going to pull out some others. Some big ones and some little ones. And let's see here. These are big and then these are little. You know, Stampin' Up! gives you um, dimensionals. Uh, with paper pumpkins each month and sometimes they give you these big um, blue dots uh, or the bigger ones see, see these are bigger and smaller so sometimes they give you a big blue dot sometimes they give you a small blue dot so I keep them on my desk here on my um, what I call my live desk and that way uh, I have access to uh, big and little dimensionals, big and little um, blue dots. And that way I don't have to be running out to my other stash. And um, they give you more than what you need, which is awesome. So you always have everything. Sorry, guys, I'm thirsty this morning. I didn't drink a Diet Coke while I was prepping and getting my beautiful makeup job done. And I'm late because of my tablet, and I'm also late because, uh, I confess, I was playing a game. I was playing a game this morning, and I was just, I play games in the morning to wake up. And I was just very happily playing my game, playing my game. And the next thing you know, I'm like, oh my God, it's Monday morning. You've got stuff to do. So, I do indeed have stuff to do. All right, so these are the card fronts. You get a plain card front. You get a card front, which is unusual. It opens top to bottom instead of side to side, which has a uh, shaded spruce color wash. And then you have one with uh, a watered down version of Calypso Coral here on it. So these are the three card fronts that you get in the kit. And then you also get, of course, you get all the other supplies that you need. So you've got um, sheets. Put that in there. One moment, please. Let me just grab things over here. I put things out of the way, but uh, I want you to see what's in the kit. So you'll get a sheet of die cuts like this for your decorations and to stamp your words on. You get another sheet that's got white ones. You've got big squares, and then you've got these uh, rounded corner rectangles with some stitching on them. You get a sheet of three of these, which are uh, like a flower, as you can see here. So it's a flower. And then you get um, a couple uh, smaller pieces with a collar wash here in the balmy blue. And that completes your kit. So that's everything that's in your kit. 
So we'll go ahead and we will make the first card here. So let me set this stuff over on the side. And let me get my instructions out because you know, as I always tell you, um, I'm terrible. I'm just terrible at reading my instructions. Uh, I, I'm just terrible. Okay, so we're going to use this pale, pale uh, Calypso Coral card front here. And we're going to use the um, leaves. And uh, this is the little things. Okay, so I, I put the wrong one on there first. All right, so let me switch them out. You know my suggestion, I always get a great big giant block and I put everything that I need on that great big giant block. And so all of my um, sentiments and stamps that I'm going to be using are on this big block. I pull them off of the mat and that way I can just pull them off and put them onto a smaller block and stamp with them. And make sure that you give these a good rubbing. Okay, because this is a photopolymer stamp set. So before you want to ink up uh, your uh, images or your words, you want to give it a good rub because these photopolymers have like a little bit of a film on them. And so what happens is you want to get that film rubbed off. So you want to make them a little, um, rough it up a little bit. You're not going to be able to feel the rough up part. Okay, it's just that you're going to rub off all of that extra film. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow, boy, that's crooked. That is going to allow for your stamp to take the ink. Okay, and I've got that crooked as a dog's hind leg. It still looks crooked to me. You'd think with a grid I could get it right. These photopolymer stamps are so sticky. They always want to stick to your skin. All right. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so let's do our stamping. Okay. <coughs> We're going to do our stamping. And if you have a little mat, a little foam mat, get it out because the, the photopolymer stamps, I cannot see what I'm doing. My eyes are so, hang on guys. Ugh. My eyes water, as you well know, something fierce and All right, let's see. Man, that is tight. That is really tight. That is just barely going to fit. Ugh. Alrighty then. All right, let's give this baby some ink. Anyway, uh, the photopolymer stamps don't have any cushion uh, like the red cling rubber do. You know, there's a layer of cushion. So if you have one of these foam mats, you put it down and do your stamping on that because it helps. And you hold your breath. <sighs> that is tight, let me tell you people. Oh, that is tight. Woo! I did it, but whoa, Nelly. That is just barely big enough. You know, I always stamp off on scrap paper uh, before I clean my stamps because I like to get as much of that ink off because I hate it when you've got ink all over your chamois. When you have ink all over your chamois and you're using your chamois over and over and over again, you can get the ink on your fingers. So, until you go rinse out your chamois. All right. So, I'm going to put that back. Take this off. Put it back on my big block. All right. Now, let us see. 
The instructions tell me, after I have stamped that, that I need to adhere this to this, like so. And that I also need to cut 22 inches of ribbon and loop it around there, which I'm not going to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate putting the ribbon back there behind. I don't like that. And I'm certainly not going to waste 22 inches of it. I might just put a little loop, but cut about eight inches of it, but I am not cutting 22 inches of ribbon off of there. Sorry. I can think of other things to do. Now, what they want you to do is take this ribbon and loop it around in a big circle. And then they want you to lay this on top of it and lay this on top of it. So I don't like that. So I think what I'm just going to do is maybe figure eight mine, but we'll figure it out here in a minute. All right, so I know I need to put glue on this. And you can't get this wrong because only one side of it's coral, the other side of it is white. So if you really, really wanted to do something different, you could actually color it. You could color this flower any color that you wanted. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking my magic eraser along the edge there where I got a little extra glue and getting rid of it okay so now what I'm going to do is I don't mind putting a little bit of extra back behind there I'm going to get it the right shape and what I'm just going to do is is this going to pop off Okay, I think, hmm. okay, yes, all right, the whole thing is going to pop off, so what I'm just going to do is um, get my Okay, now there's a way to do this. So I want that ribbon attached. I seriously have no fingernails today. All right, I kind of want that ribbon attached there at an angle. Okay. And since I want it to show, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tiny little dot right there. Okay. Now, that way the ribbon is going to be attached. We'll get rid of these. All right. 
right, so now that is ready to go on my card front. All right, and I'm going to stick it over here. So I'm not ready for my card front. Okay, so on the card front here, we have these leaves. And these leaves have little holes, little reliefs. So what you have to do is punch out all these little shapes. And if you're super duper creative, you can save all of these cute little shapes and you could color them with your blends. And then you could make like a little um, mosaic and make a card front or a tag or a bookmark. And I think that's what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to save them all. And then next week I'll show you what I made. Now, if I had been very, very smart and made these up last night, I'd already have that done for you. I'm telling you, I was lazy yesterday. We got, we took a ride. Um, for those of you that are local, you probably have heard of Grandpa Joe's Candy Store. There's one in Miamisburg and there's one in Middletown. And we went to the one in Miamisburg because it's closer. And my husband likes to get a variety of Jelly Bellies. So that's what he got. And I, I want to save these. So I've got to put these over in something. I'm looking for a little baggie, which I don't. Ah, here's one right here. So glad I have one. All right, I'm going to save all of these little mosaic pieces. And I'm going to color them different colors and see what happens. Let's see what I can turn these into. Anyway, uh, we went to Grandpa Joe's. My husband got his fix. He got the Jelly Bellies. And I got salted caramel and lemon creams and orange creams and cherry cordials. <laughs> because that's what I like. So, we are fortified with sweets for the week. Let me tell you, honey. Okay. So now that we have taken this up, Oh, I missed one. I missed one. You can use your picker tool to pick them out easier. Make sure I didn't miss any others. I didn't miss any others. Put that in there. I'll tell you what. Sometimes you just need fingernails in life, and I don't have any. Okay. So this has random pop dots all over the back of this. And since I'm at the end of my pop dot heaven here, you know, I was stamping one time with some stampers. And when all of the pop dots, when they used all of the pop dots out of their They took the whole thing, this whole thing, and they threw it away. And I nearly had a heart attack. I said, what are you doing? They're still, they're still dimensional uh, all around the edges here. And you can cut them to any shape or size that you want. I said, that's still good. There's still good stuff on there, kids. What are you doing? Throw them away. Oh, well. I just thought you threw them away when you're when when you're done. I'm like, no, you don't throw them away. You use every single one of them. Use them all. And here's the other uh, helpful little tip. This paper that they're on has a glossy finish to it. And if you don't have a silicone mat, you can use this glossy paper when you're um, on your mat on your table here when you're uh, gluing things because then what will happen is the glue won't stick to the paper and it won't stick to this piece either so if you don't have a silicone mat you save these 
and use them. I need to cut that in half. For your glue as like a gluing surface. Okay. A couple of more here. couple more tiny ones my goodness this is gonna take forever to take all these off of there I think we'll put one right there and we will be done all right you shouldn't be able to see any of these on this side so That's the hardest part of this. Okay, now just jab your finger right in smack dab in the middle. And what will happen is it will pop up either end and so these will be easy to get to. You know, I was watching a demonstrator do something the other day and she was using tear and tape. And tear and tape is very, very sticky. And she kept trying to pull her tear and tape off from the end. Well, when you put tear and tape down, it doesn't stick as well from the ends. And if you try to pull your tear and tape up from the end, then you're just going to end up pulling your whole tear and tape off. The trick with tear and tape is when you put tear and tape on something, you always pull from the middle. You always take your picker tool. You loosen it in the middle, and then it'll pull off either end. That's the same with these. If you pick your finger or use your um, bone folder and just stick it right in the middle, what happens is the covering will flip up on either end when you do that. And it's so much easier to pull this off. Okay. I'm trying to see which ones I've done because I am talking and I've lost track. Okay, so if they're shiny, I haven't done them yet. But it's much easier if you just pop it in the middle like that, and then this will pop up on the edges. And then you can pull the covering right off. Okay. When in doubt, stick your finger on them. All right. Let me get rid of all these little babies. All right. So now, you're just going to lay this on your card front. It's got a tiny little border all the way around it. And you can see that Calypso Coral right through the center of it, that wash. Okay. And then you're going to take your saying here, and they put theirs nice and flat, but I, I like to do things a little cockeyed. So I'm gonna go across the middle here. And we pop that up. And then, of course, they put a little bit of bling on there. So let me see what they did. One, two, three, four, five. They just kind of put it anywhere they wanted to. They put a little bling on there. So they put, kind of almost looks like dew. down here. I'm going to put one more. I think I'm going to put it on here. And there you go. Now you're finished. Wasn't that a cute easy card to make? <sighs> Love it. All right. And of course, I always stamp the back or always, you know, sign the back with my name. 
usually you can find a little stamp in there. Uh, and I, I would probably go get my Calypso Coral and stamp that flower there. But I don't have it with me, so I'm not going to. All right, so that is one card down. So let's do the next card, okay? These are really, really quick and easy. Sometimes paper pumpkins are a delightful way of not thinking. <laughs> I like paper pumpkins because you don't have to think. All right, this is with deepest sympathy. There we go. I just had to do a sympathy card last week. Hate that. Hate that. One of the ladies in my Bible study group, her husband passed away. And so sad. I just, I don't like death and dying. I much prefer to be topside. Thank you, Jesus, for the day. All right. Get my foam mat over here. And we're going to use this um, little flag. we go with deep sympathy and what else do we need to do here to this card oh okay I didn't see that alrighty then I've got to mount another stamp all right I didn't see that no I'm telling you this shaded spruces Rich, rich color. Very rich color. Oh, I seriously need to spend some time in the afternoon fixing my blocks. My blocks ugh, are filthy. And I need to do something about that. Okay. So this stamp has this like honeycomb and there's no right or wrong way to do this honeycomb okay let's see it's also got that one too well heavens to Murgatroyd all right Okay. All right. I keep saying that, don't I? All right. Okay. All right. Hmm. Which way do you want it to go? All right. You need stamping up. I'm going to do what you tell me to, but if I were making this card, I would not use this um, behind there. I think I would use the balmy blue instead of the shaded spruce, but this is what you gave me, so I'm going to have to use that one. And I'm just going to do some random stamping back there. So we're going to ink that up, and I missed the center section. There we go. Not that it's going to matter, because it's going to be hidden anyway. I keep moving this everywhere but loose, don't I? Keeps getting caught on my sleeve. Put that off a little bit. I know that's got enough ink. All right, and one more time. Now, I confess, in the example, they did not stamp off 
But I know I got plenty of ink on here, so I'm stamping off and giving you a, a different flavor there. If you're going to have all this ink, you may as well use it. See, look at that. You've got plenty of ink left on there to just stamp off in the corners. So why not? All right. So this is our centerpiece here. And this card, my bone folder is over on the other table, so I'm making do. This card's going to go like this. And then we're going to take our flowers here. And they want us to use... Which ones? That's like a triple flower. Hmm. This is odd. In the illustration, in this illustration, they're showing us In this one, you have one, one whole piece. Looks just like the one we got. And then it looks like they've taken the second one, which is separate, and put over top of it, okay? Like they've 3D'd the one. <sighs> Stamp it up. I don't know if I agree with you. Because I think, and they have this one flat, and then what they've done is they've gone back in and taken this one and 3D popped it up over top of it. And then they have 3 d this. you got your With Sympathy here, and you've got some ribbon. You know, sometimes stamping up, I don't like the way you design this. And I am going to tie this ribbon into a bow. Maybe. There we go. Get my snips here. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? I don't agree with everything. So I am not wasting that giant flower. wasting that giant flower and here's another thing I wouldn't put this on here just like this I would put another layer behind it I would put some shaded spruce behind it and then I am going to pop up this whole thing because I don't approve of your message and I can't see what I'm doing I don't approve this message. So guess what? I, I have to change it up a little bit. And you know what? That's what I, I say this every month when I do a paper pumpkin. I love paper pumpkin. I love the fact that they, meaning Stampin' Up, Stampin' Up gives you um, the idea. They give you the whole idea and they give you the instructions and then guess what? 
you go to town and you change things up that suit how you stamp because I am not a wasteful stamper and there's no way in heckle as my little niece used to say what the heckle like heckle and jekyll there's no way I'm going to waste this beautiful flower and no it's just not happening so that's not happening not happening so we're not doing that we are going to pop that up though all right like I said I would put another layer back behind there because I don't like that just you know blah and I'm going to pop this whole thing up they wanted it flat and I say no. So, push down the centers here, since I don't have my bone folder. I don't know what I've done with it. I have a bone folder everywhere. And the bone folder that belongs on this table is MIA. Actually, I think the bone folder that belongs on the table behind me is MIA. And so I took the one from here. I do have one in my portable kit, my travel kit. I'll just have to put it up here, steal it. And remember, if I'm going somewhere, I have no bone folder. All right. Because I don't know what I've done with my bone folder. So I'll steal the one out of my travel kit. All right, I'm gonna put that on there. And then we are going to pull off all the centers of these. It's just right out of camera, isn't it? All right. Oh my God, that scared me to death. Oh, Lord have mercy, y'all. I just breathe and a little tiny, you know how sometimes your sweater's pill, that thing was flying around there and I thought it was some kind of a bug. I almost screamed. I almost screamed in your ears. <laughs> Trust me, I can scream too. Where do I want to put that? Oh. I don't think I want to put it smack dab in the middle. Oh, I don't really want to cover those leaves either. Ah! I want to color those flowers. I don't know where to put that. I suppose I could put it down there. Cover up those leaves a little bit, which I hated, but it is what it is. Okay, where's my glue dots? I need the baby glue dots. And I'm going to put this bow right on the end of that. There we go. Because once again, I am not a fan. I am not go. I'm not a fan of curling up the ribbon. And they want us to cut 12 inches off of this ribbon and curl
curl it up in a crazy looking bow. And I don't like that. I, I just don't like swirling my ribbon. Just not a fan. So, you know, Stampin' Up! gives you a design and a suggestion. And it's not the end of the world if you make it something different. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get the final one done and get the instructions over here because you know I'm crazy with about instructions. Let's see. Oh, that is this one. Sorry. Do you know, I don't know if you know this about paper pumpkin, but check it out. On every paper pumpkin, Stampin' Up! gives you, look at this. This is an 18-inch ruler. Isn't that beautiful? They give you an 18-inch ruler. So if you don't have a ruler, you can always take your blade, cut that off, mount it onto something, and you've got a permanent ruler. I love it. I love that they do that. All right, let's do this last card, which is... Um, a little different and this one opens up and down so let's see what we've got here we need all right so what we need to do is take this piece here and we need to stamp it And they're just, they want you to do quite a lot of stamping on this. So what I'm going to do is turn it. And they want you to stamp this entire piece and so we'll give it some love there we need to get a piece there and there we go And then we're going to, I need another, hmm. I don't have another small, yeah I do. I have a paper pumpkin stamp I can use. And this one says, enjoy your day. give it some love and this is going to go on the little round one I thought it was going to be a really really gloomy day but some of the cloud cover did lift Enjoy your day. All right, so now let's put this together. We have, oops, I don't need that piece. We have enjoy your day. And we are just going to put that on there. Enjoy your day, and that's going to pop off. 
And then we've got this piece here. And then they want us to take this black, how many? 18 inches. Okay. They want us to take this black ribbon and put it on here like this. Now, I am cheating. Because I am, again, conservative, and I am not wasting. All of that. So, what I'm doing is, I am stretching it out, and then I'm going to glue it down on the back here. All right. They want it tight. So we tighten it up there. You're not even going to be able to see that. Let's get our cherry blossom off of here. And this is a beautiful big piece. I made the mistake of stamping on there. So guess what? I have some little green ink on the back. Ugh. All right. Well, that's what I get for making my mistake of the day. And this is just a hair over. I do mean a hair. I mean, we're talking an angel hair sliver. And then this has got pop dots on it. So let me go back and get some bigger pop dots out of here. Get one of my other. And we are just going to randomly put them on here in different places. And if it gets skinny, we'll put a smaller one on. Definitely want a small one down there on its tail. All right. 
right. And then we're just going to poke these. See how easy those are when you poke them in the center? I mean, that one's almost off before I even have to pick it off. You know, it's these little tiny tips like this. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. All right, well that's dangerous. Wow. Okay. You don't want to get all that ink on the card. All right. I don't know if I want to put that down there or not. I definitely want to put this one on there because I feel like it's too empty there. So I'll stick that up there. And then we will get this on here. We've got to get enjoy your day on here. And you know what? That other card was nice. We turned it into a sympathy card, but I honestly think that this one is a nicer looking sympathy card. I kind of like that cherry blossom as a sympathy card. So guess what? I just might make it that way. And the other thing here is, there, I kind of want that to be on top of that. All right, and last but not least, we have to put a little bling. Definitely need some bling. We'll put some of these little ones down here, but we'll put a big one up there. All right. So these are our cards. I'll get everything off of here so you can see them. I gotta put everything back together over there. There you go. There's your three cards. How sweet are those? And I've already talked myself into changing them up just a little bit. I'll put that up there a little bit if you can see it. Changing them up. You know, there are some demonstrators out there that do only alternatives with their paper pumpkins. They love to do alternatives every month with their paper pumpkins. And they're quite well known for it. I think that's awesome. You know, I love changing up my paper pumpkins a little bit too. I don't always like everything that they show me to do with them. So I sometimes think I have to zhuzh it up or change it up. And that's what's the beauty of a paper pumpkin. It's your kit to do with what you want. And I tell you that every month so that you can tear it apart, change it up, make it into something else. It's just, it's, I like that I don't have to think of the design. Stampin' Up! gives me all of these design elements. And look at this. You put it together um, like they suggest. And if you don't like it, change it. Make it yours. Cut it in half. That's the other thing I love about paper pumpkins is, man, you can make a ton of cards from one paper pumpkin kit. This kit comes with enough cards to make nine just like they come. But if you cut these apart, 
and you use pieces parts of the elements you can stretch this kit and make you know upwards of 15 or 20 different cards out of it um, by cutting your envelopes apart uh, by cutting the cards in half because you've got you know colored cardstock sometimes they're colored on the front and the back and you can use them in in different layers so i mean there are just endless possibilities with our paper pumpkin kits and for 25 dollars a month i think is a great way to you know explore your creativity and go crazy and if you didn't want to spend any more money on stamps other than $25 a month you get an ink spot every month and you only get the block this is a standard paper pumpkin block this little baby block here like this this is a D sized block but you can get the normal thick D sized block from Stampin Up okay so order a thicker block, a D block, from your demonstrator, because I like the thicker ones. That way your fingers don't get in the ink. But if you didn't want to spend any more money, the very first paper pumpkin you get, you get a block. And you just keep that block with your paper pumpkin kit every month. And, you know, you've got plenty of extra uh, dots and glue. I use a tape runner. But if you don't want to use a tape runner, the whole point of a paper pumpkin kit is all you need is a pair of scissors because the glue is included, the dimensionals are included. And look, these are all from past paper pumpkin kits. Look, they give you plenty of these. And they usually always give you an envelope to keep everything in. And um, so I just, you know, stack them all together, put them down in my envelope, keep them on my stamping desk, and if I'm going to somebody's house or I'm going to a crop or something like that, all I have to do is just, you know, grab my stash and go. And I don't have to take, you know, bulky things like this if I don't want to. So, um, and now with this month's new organizer, you take your empty paper pumpkin box and you can put all of your ink spots in here but i advise you turn your ink spots upside down because this is an old old style pad and the ink will stay at the top if you put it upside down and if you have a label maker which i have uh you can write a label if you don't have a label maker you know write it on a piece of uh paper and and or run it off on your computer if you have a printer and then tape it on the bottom of it but that way i know this is shaded spruce and then you can drop them in here and if you're going somewhere um you know you can tear this thing apart and so that you can keep your you know you can take one section out and you can keep your bone folder in here you can keep your scissors you can keep your pick tool so you can make this organizer change this organizer you can even cut them if you want cut them you know cut off this whole section because this is you can move this over one i'm going to move it over one because there's two holes here two slots cut off this whole section here and look you can keep your bone folder, your pick tool, your scissors right in this flat section here. Load it up with your ink spots. You know, you could cut out a dunther section and, you know, and put your uh, glue things in there. I'm telling you. Lots of endless possibilities, guys. And I don't have to show you how to be smart. You can be smart yourself. You can organize your kits. You can put your embellishments in there. You know, you can cut up in a section, like I said, to put these in there. You can cut off another section if you want so that you can keep your block in there. You cut off these four sections, you could keep your block in there. And then this could be your kit to go. So you've got your block down in there you've got embellishments you've got your um, ink spots 
everything you need. You decide. It's your kit. It's your organizer. You make it what you want it to be. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed today's paper pumpkin. I'm sorry I'm running late today. Uh, I apologize. And um, I hope I still have juice on my phone. And I hope we're still recording. But I can still monitor it. And it does say that we are recording. So we're good. My tablet's up to 74% now. And the good news is I will be more vigilant about keeping it up to date. And so... Um, Play with your paper pumpkin. Show me what you did. Post it on my page. Don't forget, you've got six days left to go shopping. Stampinup.com or caseywhite.stampinup.net. Shop my store. Use the host code for April. Get your stuff that's going going before it's gone. And we will soon have a new catalog. So next week will be, let's see, seven days. It'll be May 1st. It'll be before the new catalog, May 1st. So I will have to do some previews because my stamps are coming. Uh, shipping is still behind. Um, the order that I placed on April 4th is due to arrive April 26th. So yeah. It took a long time to get here, which is absolutely not normal. Uh, Stampin' Up! said that April 4th was their biggest shopping day ever. And they had orders that were 20 times the volume of what they normally had. So they pulled people from different departments. They hired temps. And they are still working on shipping. So I placed a second and a third order. I placed a second order... Uh, just on the 19th with the free shipping or the third order um, with the free shipping. I checked today. It's still in picking. It hasn't shipped out yet. So uh, the free shipping day, April 19th, they are still working on those. And um, like I said, my second order that I placed um, on April the 10th, I'm sorry, I said it was April 4th, but I lied. It was the second order I placed on April the 10th is arriving on the 26th. So that's a full two weeks worth of waiting. Um, I, I hope we have stuff here in time for May. Um, I do have some things planned and I, I can't order everything in the catalog ahead of time. Um, so I have a class planned on May 13th and I've got to go in today and make sure that the paper that I want for that class is on its way to us. So I'll probably place one last order this month and, uh, I, I can just advise you to be patient. I know we're excited and we want our stuff as quickly as possible. So customers, when you go on May 2nd and it opens for new shipping, I suspect it's going to be just as much of a slam. If not, uh, that we had on April 4th, it's going to be a big slam. And I suggest that you just hold your britches on tight because it's going to take a while to get that stuff shipped to us. It'll even out here in the next month as the new catalog changeover completes. And, you know, the orders will uh, even out and we'll be getting them much more in, within a week in a timely manner. So if we can just hold on while the ride is bumpy and buckle up, we'll be good. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. Go make your paper pumpkin. And don't forget, Happy Mail Monday. Send a smile to somebody.